Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're going to show you how to use these BEV chargers. Now, these are quite unique because they use ChemPower chargers along with Octopus Energy for their energy source, which is quite cool. Um, but there are a lot of different ways how to get these chargers connected to your car. So we've got a touchscreen, much like the Sainsbury's chargers as well. Um, we've got the app we can use, and you can use a credit card to get it started, Zap Pay. Um, there's also, if I click on this screen here, uh, we've got Plug Surfing, Overcharge, Web Pay, all Star, Octopus Electroverse, Pora, and also just the web. Um, I've done a video recently with uh, James from, from BEV, and he's taught me through some of the ins and outs of how the chargers work. Quite interesting and quite an interesting guy. So there's a video linked in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but he was saying basically it's a lot cheaper if you use their app. Um, of course, you can use the, uh, just a credit card, um, but it's just a bit cheaper that way. So we're going to show you how to use the different methods. So to get us charge started, open up the charge flap on your car. This one's the Aura 03. Make sure to take both bungs out. Uh, and then we've got two CCS2 combo connectors here. Some of the other chargers do have CHAdeMO. Uh, and James was telling me that when you use CHAdeMO, um, you can only use one of the connectors at one time. So this is quite good, you can use both. So I'm going to use a credit card first. And it's quite interesting, the rate of charge is actually 75 pence per kilowatt hour, which is a little, little bit expensive. Um, if you do use their BEV app, you do get quite a big discount. Um, so I'm going to try to use the credit card first. So we're going to plug the connector into the car. These are quite nice cables, um, which is quite good. Plug that in. And it's saying, please use the card. So we've got a Monzo card here. There we go. It should say processing, remove card. Card accepted. And it should start charging on the screen here. So, once it's ready to go, so we've got a button there to end the charge if we want to. It says charging 89%. You can follow it along on mobile, much like Sainsbury's. Uh, it's 89%. It'll tell you the price per kilowatt hour, uh, or price you've totaled up so far, sorry. Also, the voltage of the car. And there's some information there, and you can see you can basically set a, a limit on how much it's doing. And there is also some help information here. So, what networks that BEV work with, and then the pound sign there to tell you how much it is. So no startup free, fee, sorry, 75p a kilowatt hour. So let's end this charge and try the BEV RFID card instead. So let's stop that. So it says retap your card. So retap retap our credit card. And then it will allow you to stop it. So that's quite a good security feature. So that's stopped. This button here will unlock the charge port. It's already done for us though. Let's unplug that now. Pop that back in. So now we're going to demo how to use the BEV card itself. So we've got the card here, and this will give you access to a little bit cheaper pricing. So there's 70 pence on this particular charger. Some of them uh, on the M60, about 60 pence per charge. So a little bit, little bit cheaper, which is quite good. So it's 75p with contactless on the reader down there, and it's 70p with this card. So all you need to do is plug the connector into the car. And then the car will get going and if we tap the card on there that will tell us that what it's doing preparing to charge lots of information on these screens it's really really good and you can see exactly what's happening with the car and the charger and what what's going where and what's doing what it's quite good so it's preparing there you've got the charger id there you can follow along on mobile or use the app as well uh, if we click here you've got 21 kilowatt uh, the price, if we click on this bit here, it does say 75 pence per kilowatt hour. It is actually 70 pence if you use the BEV app, which is quite good. And then all you need to do to stop it is press the word stop. Tap the RFID card again, so it's, it knows that it's you that wants to stop it. You can see it's, it's asked the car to unlock the port, which is, <laughs> which is quite cool. Um, but and however, in this instance, it's now saying unlock the car to disconnect the cable because it can't um, unlock the port. So next, we're going to use the BEV app for iPhone. Uh, this gives you access to the same pricing, so 70p per kilowatt hour as the BEV RFID card. And just like Octopus Electroverse, when you use the BEV card, uh, the session will pop up in this app here. So clicking on the BEV green logo will show you the nearby chargers. And then once you've got a session started, like we have here, uh, you can view the session. You can even stop the session from your phone too, see how much it has cost you. Uh, what the maximum speed is and so on uh, to stop it all you have to do is hold the circle button down it will then stop the charging session uh, and then you've got 30 seconds to it will take 30 seconds to end it essentially um, once you've finished you've got a receipt uh, so it tells you how much parking was if it was at all how much power you got and the charging time 
So that's been a guide on how to use the BEV charging network. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to the Interface Cars. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.